This is Bartaby, the world's prettiest bearded dragon. And I'm Raph the Human, you're watching Red Ribbon Reptiles. Today, Bartaby and her fellow plant eaters here in our reptile room are in for a treat. Quite literally, stick around and see what we're talking about. Fruit is definitely not a staple of at least our reptiles diets as can cause things like obesity in lizards that don't have mammalian metabolisms. For most species anyway, some species can eat a whole lot of fruit, but none of my animals here are those species. So we don't feed fruit to our reptiles all of the time. So today is a special day. These guys are gonna get some yummy yummies. And of course, Bartaby is the star of the show here, so why not start things off right? Let's start with one of her favorites, raspberries. Okay, beep. Okay, darling. What's this here? What do we got? What's this one? Come on, pay attention. What's this? Uh-oh. Let's mix it up. Let's not go with another berry just yet. We've got a couple chunks of apple for Miss Beep. Let's see. Uh, let's see if she likes apple. You remember apple? You haven't had apple in a long time. Not my thumb. The apple, please. Where to be? What? What don't you understand? There you go. There you go. Come on, part of me. It's apple. Keep the doctor away. Focus. No. My. I know my phone is red and it probably looks delicious. You can't eat my finger. What don't you? Okay, okay. Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> oh, you got it, you got it. Strong, independent, bearded woman. And you're a ginger, too. Am I allowed, am I allowed, am I allowed to say ginger? We can eat apples on YouTube, though, can't we, Barnaby? I'm gonna save a very special treat for last so we're gonna go to a couple more berries i don't think you've ever tried blackberry you want some you want some blackberries oh look you got different chunks all over the place here look at that okay isn't that no no bar to be it's not a roach okay i don't know how many times we have to go through this it's not stop what you're doing stop it berries this is what you're smelling yes <laughs> yes excellent oh my god i love you so much you're so cool you're so cool eat it last lick get it boom okay stop smashing your face all right we're gonna be very gentle we're gonna be gentle and another one of Bartaby's favorite fruits a little piece of blueberry let's see i don't want it to i don't want her to smash her face on the on the table any more than she already has so there you go delicious antioxidants beautiful you need a nail trim miss miss lady don't trim your nails that bad. you want a good treat no stop it last up might be barnaby's very favorite food we're gonna do a little bit of banana banana i said Oh, slippery banana. Now, I know there are no bananas in the outback of Australia, but um, who, who doesn't love banana? You know, stay no cramps, no cramp zone right here. Oh, that's a big chunk. One more piece and then, uh, you know, we'll, you'll stop being a circus clown for us and you can go home. Oh, no, you're going to bite me again, just like this, how it happened last time. There you go. Almost. You gotta, you're getting pieces of it. There you go, beepa. Now, no more, no candy for you, okay? No more candy for you for a little while, and then you can have some more. Okay, stop trying. Back and back at you. Okay, Barnaby's all done. What about some turtles? Up next, we have our two turtles. And these are actually two rescues. I think that term does get thrown around a little bit. Like, you know, if I got an animal from someone, 
doesn't automatically make it a rescue. But these two guys are a little bit different. They're from a place that really has no business having reptiles, but you know, they do anyway. To explain kind of what I mean, I got Leroy out of there because his home was the toilet of a free roam, angry iguana in a children's museum. And Bubbles here is actually uh, missing this foot. Uh, maybe you can see, maybe you can see his little, his little nub right there. And this is a result of Bubbles being housed on dry land with two red-footed tortoises, which are, you know, much larger than either of these turtles I have here. And also, red-footed tortoises are one of the few tortoises that actually eat animal matter. And oftentimes dead animal matter, because they're not really chasing down prey. But Bubbles looked dead when I met him, and if you don't believe me, I have this old video, and hey, we weren't that good at YouTube then, but you can see some, uh, I mean, heart-wrenching, kind of crazy clips of what Bubbles used to look like when we first got them. But these guys live here now, and actually they got they got some enclosure news coming, coming in the future, don't you guys? But that's enough chit-chat. These guys love fruit, so we're gonna give it to them. We're gonna, hey, give the people what they want, you know? Turtles are people too. And I don't think I mentioned this already, but Leroy is a Greek tortoise, one of the oldest living species, meaning their lifespan is among the longest of any species. They can live over 200 years. And Bubbles is a Malaysian box turtle who's apparently 70, but again, you know, they didn't, they didn't really know the reptiles, but is apparently around 70 years old. And this species usually, I've read, gets to around 40 years old. But it's possible he was in just such bad shape and turtles can do like crazy things with dormancy and, and brumation and things like that. So maybe you're that old? Either way, pretty old. He was there since the 80s, if I understand correctly. So he's an old guy. And I don't think I mentioned this already, but Leroy is a Greek tortoise, one of the oldest living species, meaning their lifespan is among the longest of any species. They can live over 200 years. And Bubbles is a Malaysian box turtle who's apparently 70, but again, you know, they didn't, they didn't really know the reptiles, but is apparently around 70 years old. And this species usually, I've read, gets to around 40 years old, but it's possible he was in just such bad shape and turtles can do like crazy things with dormancy and, and brumation and things like that. So maybe you're that old? Either way, pretty old. He was there since the 80s, if I understand correctly. So... He's an old guy, but it looks like he just got a whiff of his fruit. Or no, he's, he's going to take off. Leroy got a whiff of the fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bubbles, go on. Fruit. Showing off your fruit eating skills, your berry abilities. Berry ability. Does your brother make you nervous? Here you go, Leroy, a little piece of apple. Want some apple now? There you go, you figured it out. Bubbles, there's berries for you, friend. No, no. He's make he's making a break for it. And Leroy is Leroy is always a hammer for food. Bubbles usually is too. He's just he's a little more nervous, you know. Maybe he hasn't been out of his water for a minute, he's feeling a little dry. He's got the cotton mouth, he's not ready to start munching food here. The most dangerous animal on this planet. Anybody want a raspberry now? Yeah, he's got his eye on something. Not the plate. Not the plate. The, the plate's just a plate. Oh, banana. Chiquita banana, eh? A fine smorgasbord for you, my good man. Yes. Oh, Leroy's got two different things. Whoa, Leroy is making a smoothie. Would you look, would you just look at it? Look at the smoothie. The nice and blend. Can you just Leroy, 
Well, Leroy is enjoying himself, but uh, Bubbles is apparently not in the mood. He might, he really just might be nervous about Leroy being here. Uh, he's not used to seeing other turtles. Yeah, the last time he was hanging out with tortoises, he was uh, dehydrated, sad, cold, and uh, getting nibbled on. So, kind of makes sense, but uh, you know, I'm right here. Nothing's going to happen to you, Bubbles. Why don't we, uh, why don't we try it out? This guy, though, you know, world champion. That's your foot. That is your own foot. Okay, uh, you know, now it's a known fact. Tortoises love to eat feet. Uh, they, they're foot guys, you know, just, just let it happen. You know, they're not hurting anybody, uh, except Bubbles. Bubbles got his foot eaten off by a fetishist. It's so gross the way your head comes out. <laughs> Stop trying to eat your foot, please. Me right. How how do you live <laughs> two hundred years? How do you? Eat it? So bubbles, you know, I think it's probably just the light here and the and the camera in his face. But he's gonna go home with his fruit just like Leroy did. And uh, he'll probably eat some. We'll, we'll let you guys know how it goes. Oh, he's, he's yelling at me. And now with me is Smog, the uh, much calmer blue tongue skink than he used to be. And I, re I really like it a lot. Now, Smog has never taken food directly from me, just off of a, uh, a feeding dish. Okay, yeah, see, I lied. He's, he's, not, he's not calm. But he has taken food out of a feeding dish that I've delivered to him, but never a uh, tong fed or, or anything like that. So what we're going to try today to get him to eat is one of the most aromatic foods that he enjoys eating, and that's eggs. So we scrambled up. He'll get half the egg. Zilly next will get the other half. But we're going to see if he won't eat this uh, right here in front of us, if he's going to be calm enough, if we calm him down a little bit here. He's, he's a little jittery, but uh, he's not. I've seen him run faster. So we are going to get that egg and the fruit, and we're going to see if he'll, if he'll munch down on it. Look at this beautiful breakfast blend here for a blue tongue skink. Let's see. Let's see. We're gonna give you a whiff. And he he does like his food. Oh yeah. Oh, you might eat right here in my hands. Let's see. You got all kinds of stuff. You got berries, you got apple, banana. Yeah, everything's okay, buddy. You are such a good boy. And this right here, I'm, you know, I'm glad this is going to be on film because this is a big step in socializing this beautiful lizard. And his name's Smog. I don't know if I said that because uh, he is a, a, he's a grumpy dragon that hides, you know. So uh, that's what Smog does until he's destroying hobbit villages. But uh, he's liking this already. I don't think he's eaten any fruit yet. Oh, he got a little skittish on me, but that's okay. Okay, look, your food's still right here. Your food's still right here. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, it's still food, buddy. That's right. I'm not tricking you. Has he gone for any fruit yet, or is he just eating the eggs so far? Because that is not the point of the... Okay, you got some raspberry by accident, maybe? But, uh, there you go. You swallowed it, so that's good. A little fruit for you, pal, you know? And Smog is a wild-caught Halmahera blue tongue skink. They are one of the Indonesian variations of blue tongue. And, uh, you know, that's why he's a little chunky. He likes his air a little more humid than the northern blue tongue skinks. But he's really just fantastic. I love this guy. This is so cool. I love feeding my blue tongue skink. In my hands. He's in my hands. I'm not even feeding him out of my hands. Come on. Well, buddy, I kind of, you know... 
that was the guys that was really cool i kind of geeked out there for a second but um just so that he can eat the rest of his meal with no anxiety no fear it looks like he's kind of concerned with his surroundings now now that the food distraction has kind of dissipated i'm gonna get him back in his cage with his little uh, egg salad there egg berry salad and he's such a good boy say 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 i'm a good boy Okay, guys, what do you say? I think uh, I think he earned it. Let's send him home. And for our next two feedings, we're going to have to go straight into the enclosure of these animals uh, that are a bit more skittish than even this guy here, which I didn't think I would say. I thought they would all be tied. I did not think he'd eat on the table with me, but he did, and I, and I love him. And next up... We have Zilly, our Sudan plated lizard. I know I said we'd probably do these next two feedings in the enclosure, but uh, Smog has inspired me to inspire his siblings to uh, try to try to enjoy life on the outside. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Zilly is a Sudan plated lizard. She is, I mean, she's an adult sized Sudan plated lizard, but she's also imported straight from Africa. But there hasn't been a whole lot of breeding of Sudan plated lizards, so. Uh, she might be worth, honestly, she might be worth a DNA test to get her uh, her true sex and get her a mate and see if we can't produce these amazing lizards because they are really awesome lizards and a lot of them are super friendly, Zilly just uh, isn't. But if we had a captive line of them, I mean, I, I don't see why they wouldn't all be pretty, pretty friendly. So, since Zilly is very stressed out right now, say we make her a peace offering. What do you guys think? Same kind of salad smog had. Let's go. Okay, Zilly. What's this? Is that food? Come on. No reason to no reason to be afraid. No reason no 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 reason to flick flick your food everywhere, huh? Let's see. Let's see. No, 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 no. Don't worry about me. Don't don't worry about me. Worry about the food. Look at that. I know you like eggs. You mouth them down every time we give them to you in your cage. Now, I'm trying to not restrain her so she'll get more comfortable, but then once uh, once that happens, she's going to she's gonna dart for it. So, uh, Zilly, I don't know how to make this more obvious for you, but I'm just trying to feed you. See? <laughs> okay, guys, so, I mean, I'm not... I don't, I don't think Zilly is going to eat here out of her cage. Smog spoiled us. But, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't blame her. She's a nervous, she's a nervous Nelly. She is a nervous, a nervous Nelly. But, uh, she's never bitey, really. She, she tail whips a, a bit. But, uh, you know, at least she's not a, a mean lady. She's just, she's just a bit frightened, you know? So, this animal is at a stress level that is, uh, not going to be conducive for eating outside of her enclosure. Woo so, uh, you know, I hope we get back to her in time to get some clips of her eating. She might, uh, as usual, I put the food in, I wanna come back and watch her eat, but before I can, the food's already all gone. And like I said, you know, I don't blame her. Any of my imported animals, um, I don't really question them if, if they're a bit defensive because, you know, they got pulled out of the wild. Versus my captive animals, you know, I should definitely work to make them all handleable, and they really all are, but uh, some of some of my imports here uh, are not the not the happiest. I'm sorry. Okay, Zoe, go home. And last but certainly not least, Mr. Monsamusa, our shellless tortoise. No, I'm just kidding. Euromastix. Musa is a Saharan Euromastix. These guys come in reds and yellows, especially the males. will show this color a bit more than the females. And Musa is a big boy, but again, also an import. And, you know, he eats greens out of his cage from time to time with us. But he's another animal that we are working uh, very hard to socialize. And, I mean, he's he's come a million miles in, in that process. So, let's see if he'll enjoy some fruit with us here. Out on this beautiful, well-lit table. Oh, how about you? you know your food bowl? Come on. Come 
Carlos. Okay, before he gets too freaked out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring him into his enclosure, into his comfort zone where he's used to seeing this food bowl in the corner and see if that won't change things for us here a little bit, huh, Musa? Okay, like I said, we definitely got spoiled by our boy Smog there. That was really exciting. But subsequently, I did terrify two of my reptiles I'm working on my relationship with. But that's okay, I'm not gonna put any more pressure on them than they already experienced today. They both seem to be in a fine mood today. So uh, I don't think I pushed them too far over the edge or anything. That was nothing new for those two lizards. But we do have some animals that uh, mount food for you, right? Right, Leroy? And I just want to reiterate, these guys will get very excited for fruit, but it's not something you want to feed all the time to them. Or, I mean, if you do it often, it'll have to be in smaller amounts than uh, what you saw today. Of course, do research on your specific species to see exactly how much fruit you can kind of get away with feeding them. And... Very importantly, and people just want to know feeding guidelines, mind the body condition and the weights of your animals. That's the best way to figure out if you're overfeeding. And if you are overfeeding and you have to cut back, fruit's definitely not what you want to put your priority on, right? Things like dark leafy greens for herbivores or even omnivores and also good healthy insects. Leroy seems to have gotten enough nutrition for today, but if you like reptile content on YouTube, hey, you're in the right place. So why don't you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. More standard length videos every week, plus our podcast, the Primates with Reptiles podcast. Make sure you check it out if you haven't yet. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and right here on YouTube. Anything else, Leroy? This is Leroy the Greek Tortoise. I'm Raph the Human. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you